When Malian authorities and the Tuareg movement signed an accord last year, pledges were bold. Many believed it spelt the end of a 15-year conflict in northern Mali. We must remember that what we call the Accord of Algiers is not an international agreement. It's an agreement signed by the people of Mali in Algerian territory. But a year on, critics say the accord, which promised to restore peace and security, is failing. Water shortages and the survival of livestock are daily worries. What exactly was the war of the Tuareg? It was a conflict involving animals. That's what made the war spread from village to village. <laughs> the situation in Kedal in northeastern Mali is tense. In May, clashes took place between the army and former rebels. In Agadez, in neighboring Niger, too, the situation is precarious. Some say this no longer has anything to do with Tuareg rebel groups. The boulders of the Sahara Desert are permeable. Raids have been a problem in the region for a long time. There are rebel groups and bandits throughout the area. A Belgian development program has set itself the daring task of reinforcing security in the Niger area with its scheme of weapons for aid. In exchange for the handover of weapons, we will introduce dozens, if not hundreds, of economic partnership deals, so there will be a bit more wealth. It's well known that the lack of financial development is the underlying cause of armed conflict. There are 400,000 Tuareg rebels in Mali. Most of them live below the poverty line.